Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Lotus. At least that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, this map can be found over at modland.net and first before I go let me just say that I'm very careful about the maps um, that I look at uh, when I see them over at modland.net uh, but as best I can tell this is a map that has been uploaded there by the author so it should be completely completely fine to download. Uh, when I downloaded it, it did come from Mega uh, Mega DZ Downloads, uh, which is a fairly fine site. There's, there's no real chance of getting malware or anything um, from that site. Uh, just when you get a notice that says, do you want to allow uh, the site to write files to your computer? Just say no, just say disallow. Uh, the map will still download. Uh, this map is uh, made off of Stevie's map template. And uh, in the map uh, zip file, there is a nice uh, credits PDF where they give credit to all kinds of folks. Uh, so that's nice to see. And uh, I'll just encourage you to go check that out yourself. Uh, this map has lots of cool features and I hope to uh, show it off to you. Let's go ahead and jump on in. We're going to leave all the DLCs checked. And uh, there's the map. We're gonna uncheck seasons uh, because the description does say that the seasons mod is not supported. Uh, I'm pretty sure that just means that there isn't a, a snow mask in place. Uh, the description also says that chickens are missing. So there are no chickens on the map. Uh, if you want chickens, you may be able to use the uh, enhanced chicken pack to bring chickens in. I've not tried it though, so I would be very cautious if you try that because it may or may not cause issues depending on how the chickens have been removed. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Pull up the log as it loads up and you'll see that the log is error free. And actually once this loads up we're going to go ahead and cut to a save game uh, because there are lots of cool things on the map that you actually need to buy similar to um, Stop and Bach. Here we are. Go ahead and load up and before we go anywhere let's go ahead and look at the PDA so here we are PDA I really like this uh, this image background image with the uh, scratched up wood I think it really contrasts nice with the PDA itself we see we have our standard crops including oat rye triticale spelt and millet start out by owning fields one two and three Five. Almost said three there. There are several cell points, two that accept the main crops. We've got a train cell point that accepts potatoes and sugar beets. It does not look like there is um, sugar cane on the map because there is no cell point for sugar cane. A couple cell points for manure. We have a cell point for milk. We have two cell points for wool. And then we have a cell point for forage, um, wood chips, silage. BGA also accepts straw, pig food, grass, and hay, as does the barn. We have straw pellets and hay pellets. Also have our extra crops here accepted at these two main cell points. And then we have, I guess this is fertilizer. We have two cell points for beer. Um, not sure what this is. It's very, very indescriptive. Uh, this, I think this is charcoal. Maybe this is um, compost. There is compost on the map. Looks like we have cereal or corn flakes. That's very interesting. Oatmeal, not really sure what that is. Um, this may be flour. This appears to be um, sugar cubes. So there's lots of production also on the map. And most of the production is going to be purchasable. Do not own it at the beginning. We've got a fairly good list of starting equipment. Uh, other than the pickup truck, everything is fairly new. Uh, nothing is in a red, so that means that nothing has lots of hours. And nothing is in the least column. Let's go ahead and well we're not going to need to take it alone because we're going to jump to a save game that's got more than enough money to do what we need to do in this video. 
We've got all three animals on this map, sheep, pigs, and cows. And as I said earlier, the chickens are missing. Uh, some people will love that. Others, people that like to pick up eggs. Crazy. Anyway, our silo has a capacity of 1 million liters. And we do have nuggets on the map. There. Let's go ahead and look at the starting equipment. Start out with Fent 700, JCB Fast Track, and the Dutzfar Series 9, ranging horsepower from 165 to 295 horsepower. Got the front loader arms in a bucket, throttle smash harvester with grain header and header trailer. Got two nice agroliner tippers. Got a horse cultivator, the large Limpkin plow. Got a potato seeder or planter. Got the rapid Vanderstand seeder. Fertilized spreader, a couple weights, front mower, and a forage wagon, pickup truck, water trailer, animal trailer, and a power washer. So with that, I'm going to cut, and we'll be right back with a save game uh, where all I did was just basically load the game up, save it, and then edit in some money. And we're back with more money than we could ever imagine. And we're going to use this to buy some industries and some other things that are scattered around the map. So with that, let's go ahead and look around the main farm. Start out here, the, uh, I guess the back porch of our house. Pretty nice front yard here, or I guess backyard, I should say. Gates open. Oh, all right, let's go around the front. Alright, so first off, got really cool um, tire tracks and dirt all over the place. Let's go ahead and there's our wool, sheep, car. Gate does open. And then you've got your water trough over here. But first, take a look at this. This is the first time I've seen. I've noticed a butterfly um, flying around on a map. You know, we've seen birds, we've seen other things in the sky, but uh, this is the first that I recognize uh, seeing a butterfly fly around. Pretty cool. Got our water trough here. And our grass trough over here. And we've got a hay straw and grass cell point. We do have the chicken coop, it looks like. Sorry. Seeing the top of the playground there, thinking that was the chicken coop. And here we have our silos. We have our dump and our tip or fill out. And then the silo has. A nice information board here. Tell us what can be stored in it and how much we have stored in there. Got ourselves fuel. And then we've got a whole bunch of storage buildings around here. And then open some of these up. Side. It's in that one. Some tippers. Nine, another tipper. Big plow and our cultivator in there. Weights. And have a customize and repair trigger. Shop. Water. And there we've got our two cedars and a bunch of seed and a bunch of fertilizer pallets. Let's head on down here and check out the cow and pig areas.
It's another butterfly. First thing we're coming to here is the cow area. Go ahead and get some cows. So this is where we're going to go in. Here we have our silage trough. We have where we can get milk, pull milk out. Uh, this is our straw area. I do not know. Uh, let me see real quick. Can I see in the description? Uh, this has free water, mud mod, chop straw. I'm not seeing anything related to if it's got the stop milk uh, trigger already installed or not. So here's your water trough. Um, so you may have to place your stop milk sale if you don't want milk to sell at midnight. Let's go ahead and check out our got our liquid manure and our solid manure over there for our cows. Got our silage bunker over here for our cows. It's a trigger. Tractors. This would be your straw trigger. We're going to buy our pigs. Got our harvester already set up here to uh, harvest, although the field itself is not quite ready. It's kind of interesting. There's a couple little quirks on the map, but overall, I think the map is very nice uh, and is not. The quirks are not, in my opinion, game breaking, at least the ones that I have seen. Uh, so I think that's probably a little quirk where maybe the author intended that to be ready to harvest from the start and just didn't uh, realize that. We've got our slurry and our water trigger for our pigs. And our pig trough. Is pig trough. I guess our pig pig trough. I saw it earlier. Oh, here it is. We've got our pig trough here. Then we've got another water trigger. Right here, got our manure for our pigs. And then here is one of the things that we can buy. So this is $100,000 to buy the pig food mixer and the TMR mixer. So stations produce 1,500 liters of pig food and forage per hour. They input corn, soybean, potatoes and sugar beets, barley and wheat, and they output pig food. Or they input grass or hay silage and straw and the output TMR. So what we do is we hit R and then it's a hundred thousand dollars. Put in one hundred thousand uh I think zeros. There we go and pay and poof barriers disappear and we now have access to our stuff. Pretty cool. Now the only thing I've noticed it's a little weird on these um, on these is I'm not getting oh I know why I'm not getting this stuff to pop up so this uses the um, M company script and the M company script you need to have the M company graphics mod also in your mod folder if you don't you're not going to get the little pop up uh, that tells you you know your your inputs and your output. So that's why I'm not getting that. Let me go ahead and save this, and then I'll be right back after I add that into the, the mod folder. All right, guys. So I added M Company Graphics back, and it's still not coming up. Uh, usually there would be a big, big um, thing that would pop up here on the screen, but I'm uh, not sure why that's not popping up. At any rate, it's not really a game breaker. I mean, you kind of know what goes in on these things. So let's go ahead and get our uh, gator, and uh, we'll go ahead and drive around. Let's go 
Well, we'll just buy it since we have so much money. The shop is down here. Let's go ahead and reset. And the reset point is up here by the uh, fuel. And run on back up there. And here we go. One out. Just kind of look around. Fairly flat map. Fields are all fairly flat. All right. First thing we want to do is let's go across the way here, and we've got a couple more things that we can uh, purchase. First thing you notice is we've got this compost master for sale, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's pretty cool. Got our description of what it does, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. And notice over here that we have a trailer parked in front of the output. And over here we've got a big skid loader or a wheel loader parked in front of one of the inputs. Go over here and we push R, 200, and we want to buy it for 250. And we hit pay. And now the trailer has disappeared. The barrier is down. Come up here. Now, typically, there would be some information that would pop up here in the F1 menu, but again, it's not coming up. I'm not sure why. Kind of odd. So I'm hoping that these work. Um, I haven't actually tried them. Hoping they work because this map does look pretty cool. So here we have potato and sugar beet storage. Uh, 3 million liter capacity for each crop. R, $120,000. And the wheel letter is going to pop away. Poof, it's gone. Sugar beet and potatoes. Go over here and check out the price on field 20. Field 20, four hectares in size, $323,000. See, we've got another uh, industry down here that we can buy. This is the... Um, soy milk facility I believe also the uh, the billboard disappears after you buy it two hundred thousand dollars for this fine facility hundred thousand yep the uh, golden board goes away if you're not familiar with how this facility works bring in your soybeans and you deposit them right here You'll bring your water, you'll deposit it right here. And then you'll bring in fuel and you'll deposit that over here. And then the industry starts up and runs. It's got lots of cool animations going on in it. And what you get out of it is you get milk, slurry, and pig food out of the pipe. ATM here at what looks like a restaurant or an establishment. Field 5 right here is uh, one of our fields that we own. Okay, 
And we have another industry. What is this one? Oh, this is... They do... I guess they do charcoal. And... Uh, I don't know what that is. Let's go check it out. It says you need logs and wood chips. And it makes 6,000 liters of charcoal and fire starter per hour. Okay, that's what that is. Fire logs. Charcoal and fire starter can be sold at the pallet shop. $250,000. Go ahead and buy this up. Oh, cool. All the trucks and everything also disappear. That's pretty neat. Got a guy walking around. I guess he's our security guy. Making sure nobody steals our stuff. Like here's where the pallets of charcoal and fire starter come out. Uh, pondering something deep and uh, thoughtful. Okay. This is where you're going to bring in your wood chips. You're going to where you deposit your logs. Yeah, and typically that would have an information board. This is wood chips. This is pallets. This is where you put your logs over here. Sorry right about that. So there is a pallet production facility somewhere around here. Let's have to go try to find that. Oh, what's over here? Some nice animated sheep just hanging around here. Check out field 22. 6.32 hectares, $511,000. So it's nice. We just got a random little... Uh, sheep pen here kind of to add some uh, decor to the map down at the animal dealer it's pretty cool there are um, animated animals of each type down there i think that's just a uh so it's just a storage up there but we'll just go ahead on up here and check this out Yeah, we just have a little uh, storage enclosure up here. So the next point up here is a cell point for um, compost, manure, slurry. And also is where you can buy some seed and fertilizer. We have a slurry buy point, compost buy point, and a manure buy point. Now, let me clarify. This is where you sell your manure. They buy it from you. Gotten some grief sometimes because I sometimes use or seem to use buy and sell points interchangeably. Um... Typically what I mean by that is you can sell your compost here or they will buy your compost. If, uh, if you can purchase compost from somewhere, I will try to uh, point that out. We have seed, fertilizer, and liquid fertilizer bulk fill points. And we've got a little dude who's kind of walking on the air. It's cool, though. Just... Um, just ignore that little part of it. But it is cool that we've got kind of animated uh, things on a map. All around the map to give it a little bit more character. Got another viable industry in here. Let's go ahead and check it out. It's like this place makes lots of things. The big mill. 500,000. Oh my god. $500,000. You need triticale, oat, spelt, and millet. And you can produce up to four product products on pallets. One grain equals one product. 
produces flour and cereal per hour. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Go ahead and buy this up and see what happens. Another security guard just hanging out, checking things out. So this is where our products will come out. And we must come around the side here to uh, deposit our goods. Good fire safety. Here we have Trichicow, Oat, Spelt, and Millet all go in here. And that's what starts the big mill, cereals, and flowers. This is pretty cool. Is a big facility. Sure. Right, let's move on down here to the next where we have our vehicle shop and our animal dealer. Over here to our animal dealer first, Lakeland Valley, Lakeland Vale Cattle Market. So here we have our wool sell point. Got a cool uh, cattle car. Now we do have a train that comes flying through here. Um. I don't know how often it comes through here, but it is a high-speed commuter train, um, and it totally took me off guard the first time I came through here. It just comes barreling through. Very little notice. Here we've got we've got the animated sheep in here with the static sheep. And I wish the static sheep just weren't here and just had more animated sheep. We got ourselves some animated pigs. And then some animated cows and some static cows. Again, I'm not a big fan of static stuff, but uh, it's kind of neat that they've incorporated animated and static items. And there's our trigger to buy our stuff. We'll have to keep an eye out and see if we can't maybe uh, catch sight of that train flying past. Animal buy point. Got our shop trigger there. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that or not. Uh, screaming something. All right, well, I don't see the uh, repair. We got a repair trigger. I don't see the sell trigger. We got a brewery. Produces beer on pallets. Need barley, rye, and water. It's $190,000. There we are. Got a little spot over here where maybe we could put something if it was small. what our kegs of beer will look like. It's our output pallet mover. We're going to bring in rye, barley, and water. Fire up our brewery. Head on down to the next industry. Go 
going to be quite a while unless you cheat money in before you'll be able to afford most of this stuff. All right, so you need wood chips and you produce wood panels per hour. Eight that eight thousand wood panels per hour it can be set up at. It can be sold at the pallet shop. How much is this again? Two hundred thousand dollars. There we are. So it produces, uh, I guess, press board. What it produces. Bring in wood chips. Right here. And you'll get uh, pre press board output. I guess pallets of press board. And it looks like we've got a cell point down here. It's, uh, turn around. And drive on in there. Very cool truck. Um, paneling or uh, logoing there. Let's see here. This is. Check and see what this is. So here is the pallet cell point. This is where you bring your palletized goods to sell. Where we uh, sell our grain. Check and see if we see that train coming. Oh, not yet. I don't know how often that train comes through, but man, it comes barreling through there. Uh oh. Looks like we have a uh, placeable area, just a uh, empty lot that we can buy. Place your mods. Thirty thousand dollars, not a bad price. We got this nice week. There it goes. There it goes. Well, I told you it goes flying through here. Got our vacant lot. We have a log cell point. Back over here. Gator. Another uh, fill point for water. Bridge. Filling point for wood. Logs right here. And this will be a sell point for wood chips, I suspect. Indeed it is. All right. So we got to now turn around. And, uh, well, let's cut across here. Let's cut up this way. And we'll check out this northern area. Hey guys, what do you think of the map? Let me know. 
I think it's a pretty cool map. Um, I haven't been able to give it much. I haven't been able to give it well any um, actual gameplay testing, but it looks pretty cool. I'm a little worried that the uh, little the F1 menus on the industries aren't coming up. Oh, we got some uh, horses here. It worries me a little bit that that means that things won't uh, won't work right, but. Uh, that is the case that should get fixed pretty darn quick because that would be pretty uh pretty monumentally broken i wouldn't understand why that or how that wouldn't get found in testing but uh, hopefully it's just that uh this rundown house so hopefully that's just a little quirk and uh doesn't actually affect gameplay A little mud. The description said it had mud, but I'm not really seeing excessive mud. It's just kind of subtle, if you will. Got yeah, kind of a mountain there. Oh. Looks like there's something on the other side of that. Let me check. Oh, looky down here. Good thing we went and looked. Oh, look at that. I'm supposed to... How are we even supposed to get to this? It's the road. Down. This, this is cuttable. So you have to clear your... Oh, wow. You got to clear your way into here. It's like a hidden little road. Then you get to here. There's another way in, I guess. That one's hidden, too. And you get to here. Wait, 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 wait. What was it? A dollar? Wood chipper in, a se in secret mode. A dollar? And now, get in here. The way this works is you bring whole logs and dump them in here. And you will get wood chips out of the pipe there. Pretty cool. Let's see if those uh, trees disappear while we're at it. Check these over here because we cut those. Oh, they're still here. Glad I checked that out. It looked like by the PDA there, there was something down there. We got mud, but it's not it's not bad. It's very well done. It's just enough mud that you know it's there. Not so much that you're you're constantly being annoyed by it. We still haven't found the um, pallet production. Maybe that's up here on this side. One over here to the BGA. Looks like we have to buy the BGA down here. I see the for sale sign. Six hundred thousand dollars for the BGA. Uh, 
What do we got down here? We got a sugar factory. And the BGA again. Sugar factory is $200,000. See what it says again. This is 5,000 liters of sugar per hour. Needs sugar beets. There we are. Your sugar beet dump. There's where you're going to get your pallets of sugar. And you'll see the bunkers are all walled off. These things do have collisions, in case you were wondering. Here's the big biogas plant, $600,000. $600,000. Ah, oh, let me use it. There we go. And it looks like we have another area over there for um, placeable. You'll see we have two digestate tanks. It's because we have two silo kings. We should be able to put in 100,000 liters, 50,000 per. Now here's a place for our mods. This one's $60,000 because it's bigger. And there we are. We have a railroad track over here, too. I wonder if that uh, express train comes flying through there, too. All right, we have a milk cell point and fuel. see where do we um oh here's where we drop our milk off and look there's a kitty cat waiting on her milk here we have cell point for sugar beets and potatoes right here in front of us and then around the way we have a pallet cell point see there are pictures of pallets down here so the pallets get loaded up onto these uh, freight cars Another cell point for wool. And another grain cell point. And I think that does it. Oh, there's something down here. Let's go check out this. Just jump there. It's over here. Bit of a town here. Some tour buses. What the tour buses are here for? Is there an outlet mall in the area? Uh, 
Alright guys, well that looks to be just about it. I want to thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button. Uh, if you liked the map, let me know. If you uh, tried the map, played it, let me know. Uh, and until next time, happy farming.